You'll see two ways to create a variable table. Begin by selecting the Blocks folder. Then select the PLC menu. Select Monitor Modify Variables. Type in the address you want to monitor. Let's monitor input 8.0 and turn on the monitoring glasses. Creating a variable table by using the Monitor Modify menu is particularly useful for a quick look at I.O. When you go to save though, the location does not necessarily default to your open project. It defaults to the first project in your list. Let's see how to create a variable table that is always associated with your project. Close this table and click No to the Save option. Right click on your Blocks folder, insert New Object, and choose Variable Table. You can give the variable table a name. We'll call this one Conveyor I.O. and click OK. Double click the variable table to open it. Let's monitor input 8.0 again and turn on the monitoring glasses. Let's add output Q8.1 and press the Enter key. Now let's add input byte 0. Right click the display format hex and change the format to binary. The 2 pound means binary format with I0.0 .0 on the right and I0.7 on the left. Now let's monitor input word 0. Change this to binary as well. Here are the bits of input word 0. Byte 1 is on the right, with the rightmost bit being input 1.0. The eighth bit from the right is input 1.7, then is input 0.0, and the farthest left bit is input 0.7. Now let's monitor an analog value, peripheral input word 304. The default display is in hex. Let's change this value to decimal. Right click display format and select decimal. It's worth mentioning that you can set the defaults of the display format. To do this, select the Options menu and click Customize. Select the Display Format tab and choose a default for each field. We'll make the default for words to be decimal and set double words to display as floating point numbers. Click OK. Let's monitor memory double word 200. The default is now floating point. Let's monitor data block 35, data block byte 0. To learn more about data blocks, watch the data block videos. A nice feature of the variable table is that you can insert a variable range to monitor. Click the Insert menu and select Range of Variables. Type the beginning address which can be bits, bytes, words, or double words. Let's type input 8.1 and show the next seven bits. We'll make the display format boolean, which displays true, false, instead of 0, 1, and click OK. Let's save the variable table, which is now stored in the project. You've seen that you can monitor bits, bytes, words, and double words in the areas of inputs, outputs, memories, and data blocks. You've also seen how to insert a range of variables, and that concludes this video.